Hello everyone. Today's verse of the day is Matthew 5, 13 through 16. But before I get into it, I got to tell y'all something. There was a gentleman. I work in a very prestigious organization. And there was a gentleman that wanted to share something because he knew that I was a Christian. He wanted to share something with me and he shared it. So I thought we were kind of having a thing, you know, little banner back and forth. Well, one of the times he, he said something to me about the Lord and I, I was happy. I was like, hey, brother, you mind if I share something with you? And he's like, yeah. So I pull out my phone and I start flipping through my Bible and I was going to show him something about Amos 8. And there were other people around the corner there were guests there and he was like hey hey put that away man i don't i don't want them to hear it i'm like what are you talking about i'm, I'm talking to you i'm not talking to them no no put put that away I, I don't want them to hear it i said dude me and you are having a conversation and we're having a conversation about god of all things if they hear about god maybe that's a good thing <laughs> maybe they need to hear about it but I'm not putting anything on them. Me and you were having a conversation. And he just got all uneasy. And I continued trying to share it with him. And I saw how uneasy it was. I put my hand on shore. I was like, look, man. Do you not know what the word says? He says. Whoever denies me. Among men. Yeshua Jesus said this. I will deny with my father. So the verse of the day deals with that. Matthew 5, 13 through 16. Ye are the salt of the earth, but the salt had lost its savior, savor. Wherewith shall it be salted? It is thenceforth good for nothing, but to be cast out and to be trodden under foot of men. I never looked at that verse quite right. But doesn't that sound like a warning? Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick. And it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that all may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Let your light shine before men. You don't have to go. You let the Lord make you the fisher of men, but you can you can be yourself. You can be yourself through Christ around people. Have that joy, that peace, that love. If they ask you your opinion, give them the opinion that the Lord, your heavenly father has given you. Don't hide your light. Oh, I don't want anybody to see my light. No, I don't care what organization you're in. I don't care what job you're in. You have one thing as a Christian that you are to do. Go and make disciples. You are now a fruit tree. What does a fruit tree do? It makes fruit. It plants seeds. It makes fruit. You let your light shine before men. You let your love, joy, peace, mercy, your fruits of the spirit. You let them taste it. And you're to make other trees. Do you remember what Jesus did to the fig tree? They had no, had no figs. He cursed it. He cursed it and it withered. What good is salt that has lost its savor? What good is a fig tree that has no fruit? So the next verse I want to talk about is Matthew 10, 32 to 33. Whosoever therefore shall confess me before men, him will I confess also before my father, which is in heaven. That's what I told that man. But whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my father, which is in heaven. Do you know that's the last time I talked to that person? We couldn't, we just didn't talk anymore. 
But I hope what he understands is that that was opportunity. I hope he learns from that lesson that whatever organization we are, whatever citizen we are, we are of a bigger citizenship. We are citizens of Christ's kingdom. And we do not want to lose our savor and we want to produce fruit. And whenever the Lord gives us that opportunity, should we ever have to choose between men and God, God said, <laughs> he said, don't feel fear him who can kill the body, but rather fear him who can kill the body and send soul into hell's fire. If we're afraid to, to lose our respect in our job, that's not even killing our body. If we're afraid to, to, to lose a little popularity in our organization, we didn't even die. This is building up. This is a workout. How could I even possibly, <laughs> how could I possibly withstand people that are literally about to kill me if I can't withstand somebody just giving me a weird eye at my job because I was talking about God with not even them, but somebody else? No. Let's do the right thing. Dear Heavenly Father, just thank you for this day, Lord. May we always stand for you and take the opportunities that we have for you, listening carefully to the spirit of truth. In Yeshua's name we pray. Amen. Goodbye.